I would like to let the public know that we started this process with a proposal that was not a bold proposal. And we did that because we didn't think that we could pass that in a divided legislature. We know that this bill is actually not the bill that communities of color want. We have been told that from the very beginning. The communities that are impacted by police brutality want more. They want transformational policy. And this bill is just not that. Today, I would like to thank the House majority for bringing us here. I think it became very clear in this short hearing here in the Senate floor from the responses of the chair of the Judiciary Committee that said time and time again to the questions that Senator Dizik uh, asked tonight. He said that came from the House. Senator Limmer responded time and time again. That language came from the House. That was actually done in the House. All of these work, members, was done in the House. He is actually correct. I want to thank the Posse Caucus for the tremendous engagement for the hundreds of hours that they spent in the community, individually and collectively. The House actually held a lot of hearings, and many people came to testify. Law enforcement officers, county commissioners, activists, experts, parents. People actually came to testify and provided an opinion. That's what we do. That's what legislators are supposed to do. That did not happen in the Minnesota Senate. We never had a hearing. We never were invited to participate in any conversations with the community. We should not do that again, members. This process is about community engagement. We do policy with people. So today, I want to tell members that this is a process that has happened time and time again in the Senate, and we need to demand better. The House did this work, and I am grateful to them. But this bill is really not a good result. And my commitment to all of you is that I will continue this work, and I will not be voting for this bill tonight, because I believe that this bill is very incomplete. I cannot go back to my community, to the activists that have worked with me, to the families, to the relatives, to the mothers of all the black men that have died in the hands of the police and tell them that this bill actually responds, responds today to their calls for justice. I don't believe it is. I will be voting no. And I am going to tell Gianna Floyd, George Floyd's daughter, that my caucus, the Minority Caucus, is making a commitment to you and your family and to all the children and the parents that are there that have lost their fathers, that we will work for justice. And this is just the beginning for us. We promise you that we're not done. And we want to let you know that this is very insufficient. And some members may vote for this because it's all we could do right now. But this is not good enough. So I will be voting no, and I encourage some members to do the same. Thank you, members.